Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am doing something a little different in this video today because I am going to be reviewing a few wines um, that Trader Joe's sells. So I have kind of um, decided to do this in different days because I can't taste them all in one sitting. So I am going to be showing you guys kind of like throughout the weeks of these wines that I've been trying and you will see my initial reaction and how I like it after it's opened up a little bit. At the very end of this video, I'm going to be doing a recap of all the wines and giving you guys my least favorite to my most favorite, and I will kind of um, describe the wines more in depth at the very end. So stay tuned all the way if you guys are interested in seeing which one was my favorite and which one was my least favorite. I am by no means a wino or a wine connoisseur. I am just getting into wines really. So bear with me. Um, this is my first wine review and if I do one again, I will get better, I promise. So I hope you enjoy this video. My best friend and her husband are coming over right now and we're gonna crack open this bottle. It's called the Liberté. It's from Paso Robles. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon, and I've been told that this is a, an amazing wine, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. The price point here is $9.99, so I will try it and let you guys know how I like it. Yeah. Alright guys, I just poured a glass and I tasted it. It's really, really good. And it has, it just, it's going down really smooth. But I'll let you guys know after this glass is done how much I really liked it. But I think it's good. And my friend said she likes it too. So, I mean, we're not really that picky when it comes to wine. <laughs> Anyways, I will let you guys know when I'm finished. Final thoughts on Liberté. Um, it was really good wine. I don't really have any complaints. All in all, it was a great bottle of wine. Gotta give it a thumbs up. And, you know, my kid agrees he had to be lifted into the segment because he needs mommy's attention. So, anyways, um, yeah, I really liked the wine. My friend loved it, too. We both thought it had really, it went down really smooth. It had a little bit of, like, a bold flavor at the end of the sip. For $10, you really can't go wrong. I, I think that if you want to have this as... A great wine with a pasta dish this would be perfect and um, or just having friends over it's a great easy to drink red wine and it's a good value too welcome to wine review number two two and as you guys can see it is a different day I think it's a different week actually yes it is it's a different week because I haven't had wine in a while but I am going to be drinking the Almond K Winery. It's a Malbec 2015 Reserve from Yuko Valley. I'm going to open this tonight while my baked potatoes are cooking in the oven for the family. So it's Benson's first time having a baked potato. I'm going to show you guys. Mmm, baked potatoes. While the potatoes are baking. I'm going to get this glass of wine started and let you guys know how delicious it is or, you know, how thumbs down it is, like some of you guys like to give me. Wink, wink. Just kidding. For those of you wondering, this is the Rabbit Electric Wine Opener. I love this thing. My parents got this for my husband and I for Christmas one year, and it's super easy. You just plug it in, and it takes the corks out right away. It's very easy, and I love it. So if you guys were curious, I will link this item in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. So let's get going on this wine tasting here. I poured a glass for myself and a glass for my husband. I get the purple glass because it's my favorite color. And I'm going to try this without letting it open up. And uh, I'm just going to preface this again, you guys. I am not a wine connoisseur. And I can't taste notes of peaches and champagne and butterfly kisses and all that. So anyways, bottoms up. Hmm, this wine is, it's very light initially, 
and then I can kind of taste like the layers of flavor. I actually do like this. It is good. It's light, easy to drink. Okay, come here. Oh, Benson has something to say. What do you want to say? Huh? You want to put... Okay. <clears throat> so guys, I am actually going to let it open up a little bit and then I will come back and let you know how good it is after it's opened up a bit. And I'm going to need it because this one... He's not having it today. Well, after it has opened up for about 25 minutes, it is not the smoothest wine. Like I thought it was initially, but after I've had a couple sips, it's not super smooth and it has a little bite to it. It also isn't just, it just doesn't make me very excited. So I will drink it. It's not terrible. I'm not going to throw out wine, but it was just definitely not like, something that I'd have to buy again. So all in all, glad I tried it. Glad I got to give you guys the review. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, you are more than welcome to. This wine retails for $6.99. I would recommend Alamos over this one. Alamos is another Malbec that we sell and it's really good. I think that's $7.99. So for the price point, it's perfect and it's really easy to drink great Malbec. I'm just going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this wine and I will see you guys in my next wine review. Cheers! I am trying another wine tonight. So I'm making dinner for my son and my family. What better night to crack open a bottle of red wine with my dinner and I'm going to go ahead and review this because this is a super popular wine at Trader Joe's. I've talked to a lot of people that have said they've really liked this wine because it contains um, no detectable sulfites. And for those of you that don't know, sulfites are what give you the hangover, is what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this is an organic wine. It's called Well Red, and I believe this is the only wine at Trader Joe's that... Um, has very minimal sulfites. I think there are some other organic wines out there. If you're sensitive to red wine and the sulfites in it, this is really good because it doesn't um, give you headaches and stuff like that. So this is from, it's just a 2017 California red wine blend and it's from Sonoma, California and it is certified organic. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and it is twist Top. So if you guys don't have a wine opener, this wine's for you. <laughs> and I'll see how I like it. I'm going to let you guys know what my initial reaction is without letting it open up. Okay, well, I am not used to this kind of wine. It is a little bit on the sweet side. It's very light. It just tastes almost like grape juice. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I still taste, you know, the hints of wine in there, but it is very mild. So if you guys aren't like into the extremely bold wines, I would recommend this wine because it just, it tastes very light and it would probably pair well with a lot of different dishes. But I believe for me this is a little bit too sweet. But I'm going to let it open up and I will give you guys my second impression once I give it about 10 minutes. I let this open up for about 10 minutes. I'm going to taste it once again and let you guys know how I like it now. This one is really light. It has very little of the bold flavors. Um, so if you guys are not into the really strong like... Cabernet Sauvignons, this probably would be something that you would enjoy, and especially if you are sensitive to sulfites or if you get headaches easily drinking wine, um, try this one out. It's not terrible, it's just I my preference is just a bolder flavored wine. Okay guys, I'm going to go enjoy my wine and have dinner. Hey everyone, I am finally having my last wine that I got for this um, wine review. So tonight's wine is called Corvelia 
C-O-R-V-E-L-I-A. It has like a profile picture of what looks like a little girl. And it, this one is the Red Wine Blend. They also have a Cab Sauv and I'm not sure if they have any whites, but this is um, from Paso Robles. It is a 2016 and I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm super excited. How cute. There's a little C on the cork. <laughs> Using one of my glasses that I got at Venice. It's the real hand blown glass that's famous there. I think Italian glassware just makes your wine taste better. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I think this is going to be good, you guys. This smells amazing. Okay, first impressions. It definitely needs a second to open up, I think, because the first initial taste is kind of strong, but I have a great feeling about this wine. I'm gonna let it open up a little bit. I'm gonna take another sip, and I will tell you guys the final verdict once I've given it a fair shot. But I'm telling you, this is probably gonna be my favorite, because just right off the bat, it's, it's already like really good and I can't wait to drink this glass. So I will let you guys know after I give it about 10 minutes to open up. All right guys, I've let this wine sit for about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna try it again. I'll be right over here drinking my wine. <laughs> this is really good. It tastes very smooth and just an easy drinking wine. It is. It has a, a lot of bold flavor, so I think it would pair well with like a pasta dish or something that's a little bit heavier because I think this, this type of wine could stand up to like a big steak meal or um, like I said, like a creamy pasta or something. I think this would be great for it. So all in all, I give this wine a thumbs up. If you guys like this wine review, I know this was my first one, so bear with me. I'm still kind of getting used to navigating my wine palette and trying to figure out the words and terminology to describe each wine. I'm getting better, and I love wine, so I'm more than happy to do wine reviews for you guys. If you guys would like to see more of these wine reviews, um, either give this video a thumbs up. That will let me know if you liked it, and I can do another one, or... Comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more of these um, types of videos. I am now going into the review portion of the video. Well Red was my least favorite wine. I did not enjoy this wine. In fact, I couldn't even finish my glass because it just was not for me. Now, I know a lot of people love this wine. Um, so obviously, this is a subjective review because it is based on what I like. The description I found online says that it's an organic red blend. The tasting notes are a lighter style wine with black cherry, blackberry, and a hint of toasted vanilla. This wine pairs well with fish or a spinach and leek frittata. Now, my second to last favorite is the Almond K Malbec from Argentina. This wine was okay, especially for the price point, but I probably will not be picking this up again. An online review says that this wine tastes better with food. This wine has hints of berries and cinnamon with a peppery finish. It pairs well with beef, lamb, and poultry. Moving on, Liberté, a Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles. I thoroughly enjoyed this bottle of wine. It was a great value and I definitely will be purchasing this again. This wine has hints of cassis, black currant, cherry, and a hint of pipe tobacco because of the American and French oak barrels that the wine matured in for over 20 months. This wine pairs well with beef, lamb, or poultry. Lastly, and my most favorite, is the Corvelia California Red Blend from Paso Robles. I absolutely loved this wine, and next time I am definitely going to be trying the Cabernet Sauvignon because I've also heard amazing things with that wine as well. This wine tastes jammy and has notes of blackberry, chocolate, and spices with an oaky finish. It pairs well with steak or any pasta dish. 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I will see you guys in my next video.